Hey guys, so today I have my 18 to 21 week uh, pregnancy vlog. If you haven't already heard, which you probably have if you follow me on um, Instagram or if you know me personally from my Facebook announcement and everything, but we are indeed having a girl. So obviously I am very excited <laughs> being a girly girl myself. Um, now I get to buy cute little pink things for her. And I did get a few things before we actually found out um, because I had such a strong feeling that it was a girl. But, um, you know, I said I could have reached a few things I could have returned and then um, I could have saved some things for gifts or just save them for our second if it was a girl. So anyway, um, yeah, so I'm really excited. And to so start off, I'll just tell you that my baby bump app says baby is about 11.5 inches long, about the size of a large mango, and weighs 1.1 pounds. Um, yeah, so I'm definitely feeling like I'm growing. Um, maybe I should just go ahead and show you the bump. Um, it's kind of hard to see with this sweater, but... Um, there it is. So I'm feeling big, but obviously just gonna get bigger. Um, I feel like I'm definitely gonna need some more maternity camis soon because this one's getting pretty, these are getting pretty stretched. But yeah, this is the maternity skirt I got on eBay. And yeah. And this is just a junior's. It's actually a junior size small that I found in clearance at Target, but it still has a little bit more room. So it probably fit me even until, um, I feel like it's too warm for thick sweaters. But yeah, and then for the growing belly, I've still been using my Mama Bee Belly Butter every morning and then at night, um, like on my hands and feet and my belly, I use um, the Burst Bees Baby Bee Nourishing Calming Lotion. And like I had said when I picked this up, I got it because while it is meant for babies, a lot of reviews on Target.com said that moms liked it too. And I love it too. It's nice, really nice and thick and moisturizing. And so, yeah, the Burst Bees Lotion is definitely something I'm going to keep on hand. For both me and baby it's a little bit more natural too it doesn't have like parabens and junk so um morning sickness finally left the building probably for good around like 18 to 19 i think i threw up the last time um i do still have to eat something like as soon as i get up if i'm not having breakfast right away um just a little something just like a handful of dry cereal or something to kind of settle my stomach because otherwise I will get kind of nauseous but other than that that's been pretty good um I'm definitely feeling the growth like I said um especially this last several days I've been feeling like the stretching again some more like aches and pains and back pain um like last Friday at work <laughs> so much pain for like the second half of the day I just could not wait to go home and sit down um, my last appointment was last Tuesday, and that's when we found out the gender. My husband was there. That was his first appointment that he was able to go to. He had to miss school, but, like, he was gonna be there. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and as soon as I said it was a girl, I was like, I knew it. <laughs> and, um, we got some, a really good picture of her face that I put on, um, Instagram. And um, maybe I can show that as like part of the, insert it somehow in case you haven't seen it yet. Um, but I just, just can't get over her cute little nose and everything and I can't wait to meet her in person. I'm gonna cry. Like a lot of times I'll like, <laughs> I'll like almost cry just thinking about it like I am right now. I'm <laughs> getting a little sappy. But really I just, it's just such a miracle and, and just, with the technology now, just getting to see them, like, and obviously not in like full color and everything, but 
you can kind of get an idea of like their face shape and everything. So yeah, um, they did say she was measuring on the smaller side, but looking at us, they weren't concerned because <laughs> we're both about well, like, like I'm about almost 5'6 and he's 5'7. I mean, so average, not super tall or anything. And kind of a, we're both kind of a smaller build. So we're just not going to have a really big baby. Or at least I would hope not. Um, yeah. So they did say that kind of as the baby gets heavier um, for certain reasons, I don't really want to explain um, that I am at slight, a slight risk for preterm labor. Um, which can be kind of fixed by like, you know, not being on my feet too much, but I don't want to end up having to do like bed rest or anything. So I did ask my boss to shorten my shifts by like an hour starting next month, um, which they've been really good about kind of accommodating. Um, so yeah, I just don't want to end up with like a super stressful situation and cause something that could have been prevented, but who knows? Maybe I'll still even go late, but you know, I'd be good with her coming around like 38 weeks. I just really don't want her to come any earlier than she should. So, um, yeah, I want her to have all the room, sh time she needs to grow and be healthy and strong. So yeah. So let's get into some of the baby stuff. Um, Again, I did pick up a few things before we even knew that she was a girl for sure. Like, I ordered from a children's place. They were having a really good sale. Um, these adorable little shoes for zero to three months were originally like $13. And I paid like around $3.50. So brand new shoes. I just love this pair. We used them as part of our like gender reveal picture. I just think those are the cutest things and they feel like they've got a little bit nice like support in their cushy and stuff but obviously she won't be walking in them and then these so those are the only two pairs of little shoes and then um, some other things I had gotten because again I just knew it was a girl <laughs> um, I got these crushed ombre curtains this is just one panel, but I did get two. They go from pink to white ombre, and they're kind of a sheer. These were like $20 for the set on walmart.com, and they had a couple different really pretty colors, like turquoise and purple, but of course I got pink. And these are gonna be to cover, there's no, actually no windows in that room that's gonna be the nursery, um, and it's a really small room, but I'm gonna use these to cover the closet, just so it doesn't look sloppy or anything. So yeah, got that. And then clearance at Meyer, I had gotten um, this fitted crib sheet for $4.99. And then um, some other things. Um, this Circo crib skirt that is also ombre. It goes from lighter pink to darker pink. And I just had to get this. Um, it was out of stock when I first saw it on Target.com and then so when it came back in, I just had to order it. It was about $25, but it's just so cute. I haven't taken it out of the packaging yet, obviously, but um, yeah, it's just a really cute um, ombre kind of ruffled crib skirt. So obviously we're doing mainly pink, but the walls or anything won't be pink, <laughs> um, just kind of the accents. And then these bibs were from a children's place, clearance as well. Um, one says sleep, eat, repeat, and then just a purple with stars. And then um, on Saturday, we got to go to the mom to mom sale that they have every couple months here. And I was super excited to find lots of good stuff. Um, let's see. Oh, after we left the sale, we did stop at the children's place. Um, they were having a sale, and I got these little... These are like six to nine months, so I didn't have any smaller on the clearance. So I still need to get some smaller sizes, but 
just a pair of little leggings for her and then a little sweater which just does look like it runs bigger um it's also six to nine months but just a cute sweater that she can wear next winter and then um justin picked this one out it says daddy's wake up call <laughs> and this one's three to six months so i just got kind of all different sizes because you know I'm gonna grow so then oh holy moly okay i have a huge pile of stuff here this isn't all of it um i did have another bag of stuff there was one bag that we got at one table that was like she gave us a plastic bag it was like here you can fill this for a dollar and it wasn't like amazing stuff but i mean hey a dollar for a bag of baby clothes and then these things here i paid um 50 cents to two dollars three dollars at the most like three dollars at the most for skirts with the tag still on so um these were not from the sale these just came in the mail today i had ordered them from target just a little jean skirt with ruffles on the back and they're still on clearance on target.com right now but i got a three to six months and a zero to three so yeah thought those were cute obviously i'm gonna dress her kind of like a dress i'm a jean skirt and t-shirt and sweater girl so then i loved this little skirt i think we got it for a dollar or two dollars um just a cute little ruffled this one looks like it runs a little smaller too but 18 months maybe she'll be able to wear it sooner with because i don't know but who knows anyway this is a really cute skirt with pink stitching and then this one still had the tags on it's a gap white with pink stitching again adorable and then this little khaki with kind of cargo pockets again with pink stitching <laughs> i just love that so cute um, this one's old navy so cute just love these and then this little kind of khaki like lighter summery one so and then this little plaid one. Oh, my phone's going off. Okay, and then just a few little things. Um, I need to hurry and get through these. Anyway, I liked this one. I got it for 50 cents. Just blue stripes with pink hearts. Yeah, these are all different sizes. Um, this fleece dress little thing she can wear um, next winter. The six month size. And then we paid a dollar. Um, little tights that came with it so that was cute and then Justin picked out this dress which is a newborn size um, I think we paid a dollar and it came with a little diaper cover it is a cute little dress like for Sunday morning or something and then I really liked this sleeper I paid a dollar or two dollars probably a dollar I think it's a nine month size just a snap down sleeper and then this little striped um this one i think still had the original tag on it but i took it off it's a faded glory from walmart it's a little onesie and i love this sweater the children's place three to six months three to six months um this will fit in like next fall and winter so a little cute sweater um this one I think still had the original tag on too. Babies are us, newborn size, so she can wear it this summer. Just little strawberries and flowers, so cute. And then Justin just had to get this one, but like the girl selling it said that she just put it on her baby girl with a big blue bow. <laughs> so as a Batman. This one's really small, so I think it's yeah, it's probably like a newborn size, but yeah and then this one um all mommy wants for christmas is a silent night which i'm sure will be true um but this is six to nine months and the girl said it did look closer to like six months so hopefully it'll fit her next december but it'll be like 50 cents and then um my heart belongs to daddy we both really liked this one 
So, so I'm sure we'll get more stuff later, like little sleepers and stuff that she'll live in like around the house most of the time, I'm sure. But yeah, so, oh, if you're not following me on Instagram or you don't know me personally, you might not know that we did announce her name on there as well, which is Jocelyn Taylor Nosa. And I just can't wait to meet our little Jocelyn. But, um, yeah, my husband actually thought of the name and then I couldn't get it out of my head after that. So, yeah, he thought of it. But, yeah. Anyway, I need to stop blabbering. This video is long enough, I'm sure. So, yeah. So, I'm not sure when the next vlog will be. We'll see. I feel like I haven't had as much to talk about as, like, other people seem to when they do their vlogs. But... Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. And if you haven't already heard, which you probably have, if you probably,